So now we're going to program a CAM program for this tensile uh, test sample. Imagine that this stock is fixed on this side and this side, and also this side and this side with the clamps in the machine. And I will machine between the clamps to make this part on both sides. First we start with uh, doing making a setup. So this is how the stock actually actually look like. It's uh, 20 times 6 or 7 and also 250 long. Yeah, 5 uh, 5 in depth. So I will uh, put the zero point on top in the middle on the left side. I need uh, the set axis to come uh, upwards. And also in the machine the x axis is that direction for positive. So when I do the zero points, I will measure from this side to this side and the machine will calculate the middle of the part. That's why I put it in the middle here. Just let me check if I got some... Yeah, I got a little bit in tough offset. So we start with facing. It's uh, a 50 millimeter facing mill. I just run with this feed and speed. I will have a little less step over <coughs> and also a little more pass extension. So this is the facing, then we need to do the sides, I will use this one, and we'll use a 20mm end mill, that's a little bit high. Because of the sample is so long, I don't want to bend them in any direction. I will try with this feed and speed. Here I will put a little bit higher, don't need anything in set direction. To be sure that I will not uh, hit the clamps, I just made this sketch, I will make it visible. So then I can set boundary with this one, and I will know that the tool will not come out from this boundary. I will put uh, from previous operations here, so it will not start facing or anything. Optimal load, a little bit less. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. So now we will just duplicate this one. I will go in here and I will lower this uh, 0.5 from previous operations. So 
So then it will take smaller cut. I will uh, duplicate this one once more. Now I will also change the tool to finishing tool. This is a 12 millimeter end mill. A little bit faster from previous operations inside. I will lower it to 2 millimeters. Three millimeter will probably zero point three millimeter will probably be okay. So if we check here, it needs to go several times in the corner. That's okay. So now I duplicate this one once more. Now I have the twelve millimeter for finishing. Uh, the curves here because of its finishing I want to be sure that it's going in one taking only one time going this direction so I will increase this one because it will not take too much anyways but uh, sometimes it will start to going like this I can show actually if I take the 0 0.2 that is uh, left from previous operations, it will take this one several times. So I will just increase 2 millimeter, for example. And now it will only go one time over. And then we will have the machining going all the way and uh, no edges or stuff will be made. So let's simulate it. Let's simulate the whole operation so that's facing first and then uh, roughing looks like I can go a little bit further down with the, this tool so now we'll go three millimeter below the bottom of the model. I can do that on all of them actually. Just to be sure <coughs> that uh, there's nothing left. Let's try again. So this is the roughing. And now it's the finishing. That's a 12 minutes job, so yeah, probably I can increase the feed and speed a little bit. It depends on the material. <coughs> 